Hello, welcome back. So we did all of the areas around us. You basically looted every little area, every little inch. We did everything that was to do and to visit. And as you can see, we also have our winter clothes. Because from what I can see, you take some cold damage? I am not sure. Stay here. Watch my stuff. I'll go see if this cave is safe. You have stuff. We have stuff. Knock knock. It's our brother. I told you they would get me. The director, he said, my role in the story is I have to be the thief. Pseudo! Pseudo! My brother came and stole all your stuff, even the dice! I couldn't stop him. Oh, yeah, he. That's sad. I mean, why would you steal all of my stuff? Stupid little door. So, do you get some of the stuff back? No, you don't. You even if you collect stuff, you don't have stuff. that stuff is really useless because <laughs> think about it what do you do with your stuff nothing you just keep it in your inventory because you have your healing potion and that's about it you already used your upgrade um, figurines are the best hiding places in this game Stadium? Oh no, the theater. Enter the warrior and his ward. They are surprised to find themselves in the amphitheater. Only now does the warrior begin to suspect that his fate is already written. No such thing as fate. Observe the supreme wow. irony okay. of the warrior's story. His very belief in freedom is what propels him towards the destiny he cannot avoid. That is the essence of tragedy. Fancy words for a bully. We all have our roles to play, warrior. He has a shield on his chest, on the right side. We need Look a shield. Look at the chaos that surrounds shield artifact. us. At this rudderless nightmare that is Xenozoic. The world is a narrative, my friend. A performance. Oh, he's huge. And this is what happens when we stop playing our part. And you know how the story's supposed to go, huh? I do indeed. Oh, I would not be so presumptuous as to say I know everything. But once, when I was a boy, I was lucky enough to hear a fragment of the melody of the spheres. Just another it's perverted that determines character. the shape <laughs> of creation. It was then that I understood why the world has gone so wrong, and I dedicated myself to restoring the true narrative. And what happens now? The warrior reveals himself to be the fool. Defiantly, he drinks the poison as the ritual detects. And so. He is defeated by himself as much as by his opponent. The end. Pseudo, don't do it! So let's say I play along. 
What happens if I win? Trying to negotiate with fate. Very well. If you win, you get my great shield artifact. Now you're talking. Give me that poison. And so begins the final scene. In your face? Oh, what? You're not alone. Well... Don't take too many hits from the lowly guys. <laughs> oh, we didn't finish the combo on him. Interrupted my combo. Oh, he got me with that one. I jumped right into it. The fool is grown weak. Soon he will perish. Oh, he stole all of our weapons as well. I didn't think about that. Also, he is also using the... I'm dead. Okay, now I know what to do. Since it's a, little, it's a little pointless to fight this during the night, but okay. Stay down. Time to chew the scenery. Wait, so the boss is the same during the night? Why? he cannot win, rendering his persistence all the more tragic. The effect of the poison grows. No, I don't think I can beat him like this without... Yeah, I thought some of them were not moving, but I guess he doesn't have a lot of followers left. Okay, Pseudo, I got him for you. I got him for you. No. You me. What did no. you think I would do? This is impossible. You lied. You don't know the true narrative. Oh, that's the brother over there. No. no. I heard it. He lied to us. No. I heard it. It was real. It was so beautiful. And I thought I could. I could. We gave up everything for you, and it was all a lie. Please. No. I, I don't understand. It's Zenith like. Oh, what is there to understand? No, we're still poisoned. Poison is killing him. Help him. There's. There's nothing to be done. Oh. 
doesn't seem like such a bad guy. He's just only slightly crazy. <laughs> Not crazy than the rest of the people here, I guess. I should stop. No. Oh no. Keep it going a bit longer. It's working. It's hurting you. You're very weak. I owe him. And you. Yeah, you it's took rough. my weapons. I'm back. I'm sorry, Sudo. You douchebag, my I'm weapons. Shamed. You should be. Exactly. You didn't want the responsibility. Wanted to take the easy way out, pass the burden off to someone else. So you could go back to your life, keep stewing in your own misery. You can't change what you did, but you can try to do better. You can fight the problem at its source. Well, I guess if you share the poison between two people, it will not be fatal anymore. Uh, I guess that more or less makes sense. Because the person was not strong enough to kill two people, it was only strong enough to kill one person. Or one... Humanoid. It's hard to call them even humanoids at this point. So we're back in the... We are back in his village. Great shield artifact. Immediately box the opponent's matching artifact, ending the ritual with no consequences. Yeah, I guess I forgot what's the story behind it, but... I think for all of the guardians have... Or no, maybe Germany has one? Or maybe all of them have some sort of one-hit win method. Hmm. Well. Anyway, we need all four of them to succeed, otherwise we'll die in the final confrontation. Looks like we have a brew. One thing makes another, and that a third. But the last destroys the first. Mosquito mask or respirator mask? Lightning, what is this? This is these are new items. So I guess we're in the next phase of the game. So the root hammer is the best thing in here. I guess I should also get this set. So the leg armor gives you the most stuff. Armor, the achievement unlocked. For the weapons, I don't care about the weapons journey. that much. Lightning set. I cannot see his face. As he's looking somewhere else. <laughs> to be honest, this is the only thing that looks similar to armor. I guess he's protecting his legs. Okay. His legs. Bill has many things. Other still no flask upgrade. Seems like it's pretty useless to try and buy protect stuff and other things. Ritual belt slot. That's important. The dices are important as well. What is the crab? What is the... Arena reduce. That's also interesting. I guess we have enough to buy all of them, to be honest. Arena reduce seems like it's also a good one. Or protect or destroy the nearest. Eo wishes you good travels. 
Okay, so that was a lot of things we achieved in one. Herbs can be destroyed by placing chakas on top of them. Well, I guess it can be destroyed, but you can put it away from the other dice, I think. Also like this one, quadrant reduce. So let's change that to that. Flip is super useful, destroy nearest is not so useful. Okay, so let's use these and that should be enough. Spear. Spear cannot be upgraded. Level 3 figurines are the ones I'm missing. Yeah, that was a nice boss fight, even though I defeated him during the night, I was not expecting that. And I guess I should try to level up some endurance as well. So I guess endurance is the next thing I need to upgrade because enemies tend to hit super hard right now. I guess that's the only reason I defeated those guys because I could block some damage. I really want to fight in a dice fight now. And the problem is now I'm a bit lost. I think we have to go back to the town and uh, to the swamp. Because he has pollen and mosquitoes. I guess we can also try and go to the Corwy territory. <laughs> I don't know why would why would Vulture. I don't like them. Why would anyone say, want to live here? I feel a bit lost. Hmm. I guess we are super strong now, we have new shiny armor, we have uh, new dices, we have more dices, we have new stuff to interact with in a game of dice. I locked the door. Why is that door locked? I thought I opened all of them. Okay, so if you open this door, you will be on the other side where it's locked again? Oh no, it just looked that way. Okay. So the town had three more destinations for us, or no, one and two more destinations. So probably over here there will be two of them and over here it will be one of them. I really want to go to the Corvid territory. The Corvid territory I think is also in Xeno Clash, one and two. Basically where all of the crazy, crazy stuff lives. Because they also have a society based on rules, but anyway, let's not get into that. It's quite complicated if you think about it. If I think about it now, with the uh, golems kind of imposing certain rules. Mm, I think this is the fastest way to the town. Definitely they made the right decision to limit the map size because beforehand you couldn't tell which was traversable area or not, but now it's a lot easier. Oh, 
Huh. We are already back in town. That area seemed huge to me, but I think you're supposed to cross it in about one hour, but I just spent all of my time getting every little bit of information, tidbit and, you know, lore and items and loot and stuff. Hey, let's try the Corwy territory. I mean, it also kind of makes you wonder because that that was one of the underlying uh, notes of Xeno Clash as well. If humans suddenly became like animals, you they could do whatever they wanted, right? I mean, if they didn't have the self-aware necessary to you know behave in a society or follow the same structure as a tribe or as a group or as a whatever. They could technically do whatever they wanted, they shouldn't be punished for it, right? Right? Or the punishment should be different than what would be expected. Huh. Maybe that's the blacksmith who keeps making all of the iron stuff. Mm, that doesn't sound like iron to me. Without materials, ideas are nothing. Come to leave. Leave to return. Yeah, we never visited this area. Nice hammer. Well, looks like there's nothing here as well as, you know. Huh? There was a campsite over here and I didn't activate it. So we have to go this way, so let's see if the other turtle is <laughs> still there. Or the keloid or whatever they called it. Oh yeah, so it's not a keloid, we have to go this way. So this path was probably blocked beforehand and now it's not blocked anymore. So swamp it is, but I don't know, why would they make a cold, was cold ever a major mechanic in the game because in the mountains I never felt like my health was dropping or seeing that cold was a problem. Okay so in case people don't know where to go, ta -da! this way. I guess they're keeping the best for last, the quarry territory. Okay, lecture me, lecture me again. Why are you always humming that tune? I'm just humming along to the song. Can't you hear it? You mean the birds? No, the song that's always there. But now it's louder. Now it's coming from there. Hmm. Oh, what's wrong? I grew up there, in the Amaquali. Is your grandpa there? Something like that. I bet he would know something about your curse, too. Can we go there? I want to meet your sort of grandpa. No, you don't. He wasn't very kind to children. Oh. But if we can fix your curse, that would simplify everything. 
I like simple. Yeah. This looks like the wrong way, edible root. Huh. So we'll go the wrong way first. I think looting is important because looting can basically cover up your other problems. Like not being able to win the dice games, I was I lost basically all of the dice games until I got more ivory. This looks like a pollen area. Not a mosquito area. Edible roots. I think I would have preferred my... Nah, no. It's better than cactus. Careful, there's a caca. It looks intelligent. You Duel me. I challenge you this time. Dual me. Time artifact. Oh, so that's what it does. Spider poison. I'm keeping these two because they're super important for something stronger. And also first punch. I guess the tether artifact is kind of funny as well. Let's see how well we do now that we have so much stuff going for us. 25. How many dices can you have? <laughs> I, I cannot believe it. Why is he so weak? He has so little dice. Can you actually? Oh, it, it said you to protect them. It didn't protect them. Here, let me help you. What's up with this? Are you supposed to visit the game in another in another uh, order? I'm not sure. Ooh. He's tied up. He... It's pretty hard. <laughs> now you see how it is. You see how it is. Done. Ah, uh, that, that was so fun and so easy, I cannot believe it. You just tie them to a pole. Uh, yeah, this fight would have been brutal because they have a lot of speed and probably maneuverability. Turkeys. Easiest fight so far in the game. That looks weird and dangerous. I guess everything in this game is weird and dangerous. Why is the game still on combat? The game is pretty generous now, but I don't think there will be anything major after this fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor guys, they don't have enough dices. But is this a fight meant to, you know, improve your morale and your confidence? It worked, I feel more confident now.
Hmm. Oh, what? This is a weird area. I mean, it's basically another little village. Yes, we're in the little village. I guess I could have left it alone. No, now we attack everything that would attack us. Come again, give me a safe point. We have left. Locked. I have left enough today. I want some more corn though, that's much better for my food. Uh, strange creatures on the road ahead. Behind you! Looks like a weird mall. Weird mall. Okay, let's not look too much at the enemies. The enemies have a tendency to be creepy. I mean, we are also creepy, but at least we are on, on a mission to help a little boy. It smells like loot. I guess the game does become a lot easier once you collect enough artifacts and dices. And you have an advantage uh, in battles. Astrovor! It's an Astrovor! Oh, it's a doggy. I mean, you can get a jump on the enemies as long, I mean, if they're sitting down, it takes a while for the uh, get up animation to work, so if you see a chance, maybe take it. I haven't done one of these in such a long time. I failed to land one of these special attacks on the director. So I assume we got another stance. Slash. Slash stance. That's a good combo because the last hit probably stuns a lot. <clears throat> well, on the other hand, probably the boxing stance is much better for combos and damage, but that one was better. Eh, whatever. It takes a long time to upgrade them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but this, this is why I keep saying you need the, probably a mode or something, uh, not a mode, an option from the developers. To help you play the game a second time. First punch artifact. The best artifact in the game. Well, I say that, uh, but there are probably much better ones. So this is what? A level transition to where? Oh, you'd go back all the way. What is this crazy thing over here? Can't get through these. Okay, looks like it's going to be an easy job to finish after we do this. Oh, 
Probably there's no loot near the camps. There is usually there is usually no loot. Oh, where the strange tree and it has a face. Ah, that was pretty fun. So we traverse the little village and then we'll add the tree and then there'll be a huge wall or something. Nice. Ah, that was pretty fun. We're level 17. Oh, that's that's probably high level. Yeah, let's level up because I'll forget next time. More damage. I guess two points in damage and one point into endurance is good enough. Slash is like utility and look at the boxing damage. The boxing damage probably does the most amount of damage in the entire game. See you next time. Bye bye.